There's countrywide outrage after headlines today's investigation nailed the trust run by Union Law Minister Salman Khurshid and his wife. Now, these were the scenes witnessed across the country after we aired out our investigation. And similar scenes are in store for today as the anti-corruption activist Arvind Kejriwal is set to march towards 7 RCR, the official residence of the Prime Minister. Operation Bhitrashtra, conducted by Headlines Today, exposed how the trust swindled disabled persons of their dues by employing fraudulent means. And now there's growing pressure on the Congress High Command to sack Khurshid. The India Against Corruption uh, organization led by Kejriwal is asking the government to sack Khurshid and order a detailed probe. It is increasingly getting difficult for the government of the Congress to defend Khurshid, who as law minister is a guardian of the legal scene in the country. There is growing perception that Salman Khurshid has failed a UPA social justice flank. Kejriwal and his supporters have also urged the Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav to lodge an FIR and begin a probe. Sonia in particular cannot afford to look away after headline today's investigation. While Khurshid pleads innocence, the evidence against him is too strong to be ignored. It is increasingly getting difficult for the government, uh, like I said, to defend Khurshid. I think this is the most important thing गरीब विकलांगों के नाम का पैसा उनके लिए जो बैसाखियां जानी थी ट्राईसाइकल जानी थी वो पैसा हमारे देश के कानून मंत्री और उनकी धर्मपत्नी ने मिलके चोरी कर लिया तो आ, हमारी तो ये मांग है कि उनको तुरंत बर्खास्त किया जाए और दोनों को गिरफ्तार किया जाए बिकॉज़ अगर वो बाहर रहे तो वो इन सबूतों के साथ टेंपर कर सकते हैं गवाहों के ऊपर प्रेशर डाल सकते हैं बहुत शक्तिशाली लोग हैं इस देश के well, let me now go across to headlines today's Durga Nandini who is tracking all the latest developments. Uh, Durga, Arvind Kejriwal has plans to uh, march up to the Prime Minister's residence demanding uh, Salman Khurshid's ouster. What's really planned for the day as far as India against corruption is concerned? Let me also tell you, we just broke a story that a CAG report has made the same findings as headlines today's expose that Salman Khurshid's trust was indeed guilty of swindling funds from the disabled people. What's happening back there where you're at? Well, it's nothing surprising that the CG report has also uh, corroborated our uh, headlines today's expose because uh, the proof is out there in the open. It's an entire dossier of uh, forged documents that we're talking about. And that expose, the ripple effects, effects of that expose is what we're seeing on the streets of Delhi right now. Right behind me, we see a group of physically disabled people who are protesting, demanding justice. They are saying that Salman Khurshid and his wife should be made answerable. In fact, there should be an FIR and they should be booked under charges of embezzlement of funds that was uh, diverted to, uh, that, that should have uh, provided them with a lot of, of uh, equipment uh, for, uh, the, for the disability. Now, at this point in time, we see Arvind Kejriwal has also launched an offensive against Salman Khurshid. Yesterday, we saw that he will not be... Cow, he will not cow down to the threat made by uh, Salman Khurshid about uh, legal action, about uh, pressing forward with legal action against uh, uh, his organization, India Against Corruption, and Kejriwal himself. So at this point in time, we see that it's definitely going to be dramatic uh, 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 in a while from now when Arvind Kejriwal comes to India Gate to uh, uh, offer support to this group of protest uh, protesters. The plan is to march to um, seven hours, uh, to the Prime Minister's uh, residence. That is a plan as, uh, um, as at this point in time. Uh, we are hoping that there will be an assembly. All of them will get together somewhere beyond 11 a.m. today and there will be a march from here. Right, uh, Durga, a short while back, we also heard Salman Khurshid raising questions about Arvind Kejriwal's source of funds. Uh, tell us, how did Kejriwal respond when you questioned him on that? Well, this is a rhetoric that several leaders of the Congress have resorted to, more so uh, in the backdrop of uh, the Salman Khurshid's uh, revelation. This began when uh, uh, Arvind Kejriwal came forth with, with his explosive uh, revelations about uh, Robert Vadra's uh, business dealings with the DLF. But now we see that this has gained more, more and more uh, voice, uh, especially after uh, the expose by headlines today and Arvind Kejriwal came forth to, forward to support it. Now right. we see that uh, all of them are asking for what is the source of uh, income for Arvind Kejriwal's party and his reply has been simply that it's been, it's been put up on his website and it's there for everyone to see. All right, Durga, we'll leave it there for now. Thank you for joining us with that update.